Everybody in the whole wide world really just needs to chill. Speaking of the next generation, I wanted to uh, mention Drake. Like, what was that like? Did you guys ever think that he was going to blow up that huge? Or was it clear when you worked with him that he was heading places? I mean, my, my thing is that there was a very good possibility that all these kids were going to go places. Um, but I think that you don't recognize what someone's doing behind the scenes. Also, I know, listen, there's no doubt that Aubrey is super charming and super dedicated, like in the day, back in the day, but, and uh, was working so hard at night coming in and shooting the show. But who, but who gets this big? Right, like, that's what I mean. He's like Michael is, Jackson big now. Like We're not talking about even like The weekend. you know? He's, he's like a, a, this icon around the world in a way that's like, you can't, like how do you, I don't know how you, I don't know how you do that. I don't know. I think you, I mean, he basically has a corporation around him that is Drake. And, you know, he is a, he is a, uh, he's trademarked himself basically, you know, but I don't, I like, I'm, I'm in awe of him for doing this to tell you the truth, because it is so ridiculously huge, but it's not like, I mean, this is beyond talent at this point. This is like, he's, he is a, a entity to himself that is like, a, a, a product that is, I like that I personally really enjoy. And uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, I, I don't think you reckon. I mean, he was just, he was goofy as everyone else on that show, you yeah. know? You yeah, know he started rapping of, on the show in some episodes, I remember too. Well, he, he didn't want to. And because he was like, I don't want, he's like, for, and this is where, okay, this is where you can see an artist behind him is that he's like, I don't want to portray Jimmy, who hasn't rapped on this show once, to be good. I don't think it makes sense that all of a sudden he's like, my level up and mad so bars I, yeah yeah so he's like if i do it i want it to be not that good and we're like i think we were all like oh that's great because at first he was like i don't want to do it but he did come around in the end as, as far as just saying let's let's just figure out a way that it feels legit and then like that makes the show better yeah when you come up with ideas like that he really wanted to make it so that he was like separating himself so no one thought that that was drake rapping and also let's be legit for who jimmy is and what the level his would be at his his level of ability would be at so um no i mean and that's an artist i mean that's that's yeah i don't think you recognize that someone's going to be that big it's just like i don't think it's uh, uh, he was like he was always talented and there were so many talented people and i like i remember hearing his first tracks and i was like oh my god they're so good but i don't think you know and he would say he's like yeah i dinner with quincy jones last night and you're like what (laughs) oh you like you're doing this for a career this is real and you you know you see them go on this 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 tangent, but I, I or this this crazy you know success, and I think it's ridiculously exciting to watch. I don't know if you can like pinpoint a time where you go, that's the guy who's going to make it. Yeah. You know? Well, it still must be. But yeah, I always knew. I yeah. always knew. He was gonna <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were his manager behind the scenes. Yeah. Sure. There were a lot of singers uh, that that were actors on the series. I mean, Jake Epstein. Yeah, was a performer, and he did a lot of like musicals and stuff, right? Cassie Steele re- released an album. Uh, oh, nice! You know, uh, well, a lot of those kids release albums. You yeah. know, they're 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 trying. You know, it's. Uh, well, I know Cassie did some voices on Rick and Morty too, so I thought that was super cool. Yeah, no, and Jake, you were saying Jake Epstein played Spider Man on Broadway. Yeah, right? okay, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, a lot of talented good. kids for sure. For me at the time, it was just, oh, great. Another kid wants to be a musician as well as an actor. And, you know, like, you know, it's just like, I, I appreciated their enthusiasm, but I honestly didn't take it seriously until, you know, 08, 09, when, when he signed on with Lil Wayne. And I was just like, you got to be kidding me. So, um, and I know he had a, a rough couple of years initially. Um, no, he, listen, he worked his ass off. Yeah. Like he was working his ass off when he was recording, but I, um, also, I just don't know if we in our minds saw being from Toronto as some sort of commodity that you could work around the world. And I think when we saw that he was going like, I'm not pretending I'm from Compton. Yeah. I'm not a gangbanger. I'm this young man from Canada. Yeah. That's half Jewish and half black. Like there's a lot to be said there. That's like, Oh, he's just going to start telling stories that we haven't heard before also. And that's, I think was really refreshing. You know, like he's, he wasn't putting on anything. That's just Aubrey. That's just Drake, you know? Cool. To being genuine. That's what people yeah. want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think he'll buy the Raptors, Stefan? What's that? You think he'll one day buy the Raptors? Um, 
I don't think he needs to. Mm. I think he cool. basically said you have you can do whatever you want here. So for him to want to invest that money, maybe he wouldn't one day. I don't think he needs to really. I think they're like, uh, you run this place, right? You can yeah, do yeah. whatever you want. Um, who knows? I mean, I listen. It's I, I can't imagine that you know a kid that grew up watching his favorite team to be such a part of it at that point wouldn't also at this point be going like I have some ideas as far as how this team is managed, but. You know, who can complain about the Raptors right now? I think that they're making really good choices. I think, like, Nick Nurse is an awesome producer sort of talk about the Raptors that, that you got to imagine that Drake is going, they're in pretty good shape right now. And look what we did without uh, Kawhi. Yeah. You know, so uh, I, I don't know. I mean, listen, God knows, maybe you will. <laughs> Time will tell. Yeah. Time will tell. Um, 